Okay guys, I'm back here again. And here's another video review. I've uncovered the information for this entire day, not just this photo. Um, the information for this photo was already given by Mohai Museum of History and Industry in Seattle. Um, they own the actual photograph, actually the series of photographs. Um, this is from August 3rd, 1961. This is after the Seafair Parade, and Bruce and Sheldon Wong are doing a uh, Wing Chun pictorial demonstration inside the main dining room of Ruby Chow's restaurant. And you can see the Chinese dividers in the back. And Bruce has his black Kung Fu outfit with the red sash belt that you, you can see him wearing in many pictures from 1961 and 1962. And the information for this photo, I believe, was on the back side, and it's owned by the uh, museum. So I kind of uh, tied these in with the uh, next photo that I'm going to show you guys. Actually, I'm going to show you guys some more of these uh, photos from the same um, photo shoot. So there's Bruce and Sheldon Wong again on the... Uh, Mok Jong, Bruce's uh, wooden dummy here. You can see Bruce uh, practicing on it. And I got another photo. And there's Bruce right there again. And there's another photo right there. This is uh, in the back of Ruby Chow's restaurant underneath the stairwell. Bruce used to make a lot of noise and banging and uh, it would shake the uh, the building and it would upset Ruby Chow. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next photo right here. And I'm gonna show you guys something. So this right here is, this photo has been confused for many years as being the uh, Seattle uh, World Trade Fair or the Seattle World Fair, which it's not. Um, this is actually the Seattle, Seafair. The Seattle Seafair would take place uh, during the day. And this was after the Seafair day, the day parade ended. This was the Chinatown Night Parade, August 3rd, 1961. The same day that Sheldon Wong and Bruce Lee were in doing the uh, photographs in Ruby Chow's restaurant. As you can see, Bruce has the same haircut, the same uh, clothing on. And then there's Jesse Glover wearing the uh, blue uh, Chinese Kung Fu outfit that Bruce gave to him in the Seattle group. I believe Bruce gave it, those to them in the year 1960. Um, and behind them, you can see the Chinese girls drill team, which was um, invented by Ruby Chow in 1952, along with the Changhua Benevolent Association. She came up with the girls drill team so there's a demonstration on the stage at night okay and let's see here this one's blurry but it's a rare one so you can see uh jesse glover right there and he's doing the silum tau which is like a uh a form in a wing chun and uh god i wish i had a more clear photo of that that's a rare one right there um so I'm gonna go here, and this is the Chinese girls drill team right here. As you can see, these the outfits are the same, and the headpiece, the, the headdress is the same as the photo of Bruce on stage, okay? So, if you look right here, they're wearing the same clothing, okay? On this night, August 3rd, 1961, Chinatown Night Parade, which is part of the Seafair, uh, this is, this is when Doug Palmer sees Bruce Lee for the first time. He's already, uh, practicing, um, martial arts before this, but he's never seen Kung Fu before. So, although Doug Palmer did not state it was the seafair that he saw Bruce for the first time, he, I, I believe, actually, yes, he did say it was the, the uh, the seafair, but he did not mention the Chinatown Night Parade. This is the Chinatown Night Parade. He just mentioned the Seafair and I believe the World Trade Fair, which is, those are not, um, 
the, the World Trade Fair is not, the, this is not from that day. Um, and when people say the World Trade Fair, I believe they're, they're talking about Seattle's World Fair, the Seattle World Fair. Um, but yeah, this is not 1962, this is 1961. So I was doing some research on eBay to make sure, because I believed that this was August 3rd, 1961, the same day as the Sheldon Wong photos in Ruby Chow. I believe this was the same day, but I needed more proof because I lined everything up with, you know, uh, the Seafair and then reading about the Chinatown Night Parade. This had to be it. Bruce looks the same. Okay, but that wasn't enough for me. So I decided to do more research. I'm trying to find a photo. Okay, I found it. I found this photo on eBay. Okay, while doing research for the book, tournaments and demonstrations, and I found this photo, and I was a little bit excited. Um, Bruce Lee's not in the photo, but what's cool about this is it's on the same day Bruce Lee did the demonstration on the stage. This is August 3rd, 1961, the Chinatown Night Parade, part of the Sea Fair. So I'm going to show you the backside of the photo now. Now, this is what really uh, broke the ice right here for me. This is what really sealed the deal. I saw this piece of newspaper cut out. And if you notice, the date, August 4th, 1961, which is the day after August 3rd. So if you read this, Chinese salute, the colorful Chinese lion reared into the air in a salute to seafare royalty at last night's chinatown parade the chinatown night parade moon g performed the high leap as he activated the head of the mythical beast in the traditional chinese lion dance okay so this and then if you read the bottom it says the pacific northwest bell telephone company that's what it used to be called before Pacific Bell, Pacific Northwest Bell, okay, telephone company. Float, the float is their little stage that passes by, okay? That was their uh, float, like Ruby Chow's had her float. Uh, the University of Washington had their float. And there were just like a big stage on wheels that would pass by in the parade. So um, the Pacific Northwest Bell telephone company float captured first place in last night's Chinese Community Seafair Parade. Well, that was the uh, the night parade. So this confirmed for me, if you read it again, it says, the colorful Chinese lion reared into the air in a salute to Seafair Royalty in last night's Chinatown Parade. Last night, the night before August 4th was August 3rd, okay? So, all I needed was a screenshot of uh, this photo, the front and the back, for this video, but for the book as well, to prove uh, the research that I did. I didn't see any reason to buy this photo. It just didn't have nothing of Bruce Lee on it. I mean, although the, the information tied in, I just didn't, you know, I didn't buy it. Um, but after showing it to Ludo, I guess he decided to buy it. <laughs> but... Uh, this is a really cool piece of um, history that proves uh, the night, uh, the the Chinatown Night Parade was on August third. Not just going by the uh, what the uh, the article on the Sheldon Wong Bruce Lee photos said. So um, I'm going to show you a couple more pictures, and then so this is 1961 right here. You see these? These are the floats. Those are part of the uh, the night parade. They go all the way down the street right there. And here's another picture. See that? All right. So now that I showed you guys all of that, I wrote this text down uh, as a reminder for the information. So Bruce Lee performs Kung Fu demo on stage at the Chinatown Night Parade on August 3rd, 1961, after the Sea Fair Day Parade ends. He will also perform a cha-cha demonstration with future Miss Chinatown 1964 and University of Washington st student Lily Wu. So I had uh, 
I had typed this out and sent it to Ludo for the timeline. So, so this would be used with the photos in the book. Um, so I'm going to show you another picture right here. This is from 1964. There's Ping Chow, um, Ruby Chow's husband. And he was, um, of course, part of the making of the Chinese girls drill team with Ruby Chow. They were both part of the Zhonghua Benevolent Association. And this is uh, Miss, Miss uh, Chinatown. Um, Lily Wu, and also a student of University of Washington. So Bruce Lee not only did a Kung Fu uh, demonstration on stage that night, when he did a cha-cha um, performance, he danced with her. So that that is all of the information for that day. Oh, and one thing I wanted to uh, point out, Doug Palmer met Bruce Lee on this, I mean, I'm sorry, but Doug Palmer seen Bruce Lee on this day, okay, August 3rd, 1961. That was the first time he seen him do, right here doing this demonstration. The next time Doug Palmer sees Bruce Lee and he actually meets him um, was the Japanese festival called Bon Odori. And that would be, uh, I think, a little after this, uh, I think he said a few days after th this uh, parade. So Doug never actually said the Chinatown Night Parade. I remember, I, if I remember correctly, he said the Sea Fair is where he saw Bruce. And then I read somewhere else, he said the Trade Fair. So I don't know if his memory was a little, that's a long time ago. But uh, anyways, he never mentioned the date either. So now we know that he met him. He's seen Bruce the first time at the Chinatown Night Parade after the Sea Fair on August 3rd, 1961. And he would meet him at the Bon Odori Japanese Festival after uh, this takes place. So that's the full information, full history on this day, August 3rd, 1961, Seattle's uh, Sea Fair and the Chinatown Night Parade and Bruce Lee's demonstration. And uh, this is the first time that this information has correctly been put together. And you guys are getting it here first, and it will be in the, the book Tournaments and Demonstrations. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.